Hi, how's it going? In the previous video, we created, um, or actually, no, we didn't create anything. We just um, kind of found Q families, um, Q family indices. Where was I? In this video, we're going to use all of this together to create a logical device. A logical device is an abstraction around a GPU, which we have selected. So let's go to the device section and create this. Um, so this is an abstraction around a physical device with this kind of debug mode thing as well. So at the point where we create a logical device, we also create uh, queues. We're going to create one graphics queue. So in order to do that, we'll need the queue family index. So we'll say um, indices, Okay, we've got that. Now we can go ahead and make the queue. So we have this queue create info. And the thing with the thing with this is um, it auto populates the um, structure type S type. So we don't need to fill that in. All we need to fill in is the index. Q family index, which is we go into indices, graphics family, um, the Q count is one, is one of them. And we have this uh, pointer to Q priorities. So this looks a little strange. Why not simply pass in a number? By the way, the number goes from, uh, what's this complaining about? No, no, it's just taking a while. Okay, so the number goes from zero to one, indicating the priority of the queue. Why not simply have a number? Why a list? Well, because we can create multiple queues, in which case we would want kind of a priority for each of them. So that's why we have a list of priorities there. Okay. Um, then the next thing is we also need um, to request any device features that we like. So we go device features equals um, this one here, physical device features. Now, if we, um, click into there, we have all of these um, arguments which can be set. And by setting arguments, we um, are basically enabling device features. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that there for now. We're not gonna request any additional device features. Um, but there's another thing we need to do and we need to work out which layers have been enabled. So we'll start with no layers at all. And then if we're in debug mode, then we want to stick on the name of the um, validation layer. So to double check that, that was inside instance, pretty much right down the bottom. this one here. Okay, awesome. So we've got everything set up. So then we um, pass this all into uh, device create info. And we have creating one queue, which is Pass that info in here. We're going to create uh, enable no extensions at the moment. We'll pass in the device features. We only need to pass in one of them, and that's the default because the device features structure has all those fields within. What? What are you? What's going on? hate that. Okay. You know, it has, 
all of its fields in there as member variables, so that's fine. Um, then we need um, layers. So we go enabled layer count is simply the length of our enabled layers. And um, okay. Right, so we've got that set up. Uh, then we just need to say um, return Okay, there we have it. So um, I think I've said this, maybe I've said this before, if I haven't said this before, um, if we take something and we wrap it in a list, then the Vulkan, um, the Vulkan wrapper will, Vulkan API will treat it like a pointer, which is um, what we need here. So anywhere we see like a P something, we need to think about wrapping that thing in a list except for, for instance, um, enabled layer names already was a list, so I didn't need to wrap that in a list. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go to our main and down to our device. We can get rid of this. We can say um, self device is that and just run this and see if it works. Great. Okay. So that's working just fine. It complains that the device has not been destroyed. No problem. So we can just go down to this close function and then we will, um, destroy it. So what is it? Vulcan destroy device. And we'll go self device. So just hover over that for a second. So we have device and p allocator. Okay, so we'll say device is self device, and that memory allocator or d allocator. We're just using the default, so we'll say none. Okay, cool. So that should work with no errors. I'll test it in a second. As a matter of fact, let's test it now. Awesome. Okay. It's stable. It runs. So the next thing we need is when we created the device, we also created a queue. So we're going to make a function which um, queries all of this and gets back that queue that we created. So I'm going to call this get queue and All right, so the first thing we need is we'll need to grab the queue, which will go exactly the same way as before. And it's okay to call this function more than once. It will give the same results because it's doing the same stuff. Um, then we'll go return Vulcan get device queue. Okay, great. So again, so we tell the device to get um, Q, the queue, which is index number zero within this queue family, which is the default um, kind of queue. So then we can go back to our device, uh, our main, and go um, device get queue um, with self physical device and our device and so this isn't going to say much I'm not doing a lot of printing out um, in this video but um, yeah this should work let's give it a second come on hurry up there we go Awesome. So uh, as you can see, 
nothing went wrong, so that's good. So that more or less wraps up the device section of this series. As you can see, the way it goes is we choose a, an existing physical device on our system, a physical GPU, then we um, wrap that up in a logical device so that we can talk to it, and then we um, get the graphics queue so we can do graphics work. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.